Wow, we're live once again. Hello. Oh, wow, you guys are on time. Well, I hope so am I. Hello, guys. Welcome once again to Off the Pitch with Kuri. All right, so Karthik's here, Bold, Triple Nine, Anwar, Jibin, Mohammed Shah, 26, you're all here. Okay, it's a very, very special day today for all of us because, you know, we've been doing these Off the Pitch with Kuri live sessions throughout the lockdown, throughout off-season. But now that the Hero Indian Super League is about to start on the 20th in less than a month, in about 25 days, we're all very, very excited. And we're really looking forward to the new season. So we have a very special guest today joining us who's actually the brains and the brawn behind building a new team to face off for the seventh season of the Hero Indian Super League. It's none other. <clears throat> Hello, Anjan Hari. You're saying hello. Hi, Aslam. Hi, Adi. Oh, there he is. Hello, sir. How are you? Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening to you. How are you, How are you today? I'm fine. Thank you. Thank you. Very good day. First, first day when I, I'm out of quarantine. And it turned out to be a very good day. I know a couple of secrets. There was a friendly match and you're very happy that Kerala Blasters have won the game today. So you have an even bigger smile on your face. Exactly, exactly. It's all, all, always it's good, good thing to start with the win, you know. So, so yeah. it's really, really pleasant. And and big, big yeah. thank you for for guys. They did a great job today and 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 start start season in good way. So so thank you for for all players and stuff. You know, Carolis, I'm going to be asking you in detail about the Indian players and you know the ones that took to the pitch and how your preseason is going. But first. You know, I'm introducing the whole concept of a sporting director because Kerala Blasters is one of the most famous clubs in India and even around the world, actually. They've reached the finals twice, but unfortunately, they've failed to replicate that kind of success over the last three seasons. They've failed to, you know, make it to the playoffs. And that is why there's a rebuilding from the ground level that's happened. You being the first cog in that wheel as a sporting director. So for my sake and for all the fans, could you tell us what role do you exactly perform as a sporting director? So it's very wide role. It's actually my job, you know, is to to control and to create the sporting side of the club. So it's it's include the the staff, include the the, the player side. Uh, and include not only first team, include al also the structure of the of the youth teams. Of mm -hmm. course, in current yeah. circumstances, we have pretty much difficult situation to, to organize anything in youth sector now. But it's also big and important part of the job. So, so I mean, I am I am my my, my job to be responsible for for final result and and this is this is the the truth. Yeah. yeah, and it's a massive responsibility. You know, this is one of this, is, this club has one of the biggest fan followings in the country, or in any country actually. This club has broken records around the world just for their sheer volume and decibel level. So it's a massive responsibility. What made you accept this challenge, and what made you come to Kerala? Oh, when this discussion starts. I mean, I, I, I did the research about the club uh, and I meet the people. So, I mean, it, it was easy decision when I know when I know everything about the club. So, yeah. so also my, my previous environment, you know, I spent there five years and it was pretty, pretty nice time, really, really nice time there. Mm -hmm. So, so, but same time I needed, I needed some kind of challenge, new challenge. So, and same time, honestly, telling I was feeling that I'm ready for a new challenge. So, so mm. I mean, this responsibility, I, I, I don't, don't fear this, this <laughs> responsibility. It's, it's, it's pleasure. It absolutely is. And it's a pleasure for everybody from Manya Pada, this big fan group that you're addressing right now. And all the supporters of Kerala Blasters to see that you've taken this responsibility because already a lot of positive signs are visible and the season hasn't even started. But Kerala is one of the first decisions you and the ownership had to take was who you're bringing in as the head coach. And you yes. brought someone who has experience and who's recently won accolades in India. You brought Kibu Vichuna. What was the yes. mentality behind bringing him? So, I mean, of all of decisions which was done, 
this decision I am most sure about. Uh, so, <laughs> so I mean, this is I know this coach from he worked in Lithuania also. I know feedback from close people. I know yeah. feedback from his previous clubs in Poland, and he's already experienced in India. He knows he knows this market. He knows this. Uh, mentality of people he he already adopted there so so i mean it's it's yeah. very i'm very happy we we finally reached the agreement and 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 he he joined the club and now we're working together you know i spoke to kibu earlier during the off season time we did one of the interviews with him as well and he sounded so positive especially you know this is from a fan's perspective when important players of the club leave the fans are going to get stressed the fans are going to wonder what is going to happen to our team and kibu was so good at telling everybody the most important player is the team so once you got kibu to come in what then was the immediate concerns that you had to address in the team what was the most important thing that you had to address so most important thing that time was virus covid covid 19 was most important <laughs> thing and and crucial point in in many many of decisions because you know people people clubs and all all organizations all around the world they they didn't know what will happen what's going to happen and and so on we would, we didn't know when season will happen when pre season will happen nothing yeah. i mean yeah. and and also i i will not go to details but these players who leave the club it's for sure not everybody leave for for sporting reasons you know it was it was also also just circumstances that that this just happen you know so mm -hmm. so this rebuilding it's it's naturally happen it it wasn't forced the the building you know so so but you know we are positive people we are professional so we try to to create as good as possible team and yeah. and now yeah. looking to start the season so when you came in this season and now you're looking at it that you want to replicate the success kerala blasters is one team you have to see in the playoffs just for the sake of the fans you want to win a trophy this is such a huge club so what is going to be different this season um uh, first thing what we supposed to do we we don't need to speak about trophy <laughs> we we need we need to let other people to speak about us this mm -hmm. is really important thing and this is i'm telling for players that not not we are the one who who start to talk and and rise ourselves somewhere we need to work hard every day and and, and go step by step okay so, i like so that line that you said you this, said this is, we don't have to talk about ourselves we have to see that people talk about us i like that yes, line okay exactly. so so what is going to be different i mean many things are different first of all different team different staff and now now it's very important time when when we need we need became the team now we have 30 25 personalities and we need we need to to make the team and and, and i trust i trust in kibu qualities in this case mm -hmm. and he he's a experienced coach you know he this this is very important job because now when we stage one stage we we passed we we collect the players which we trust uh but now it's second stage is coming and and you know in sport it's you it's never final stage i mean after one thing another coming and you you need you need to prepare <laughs> for other things so i mean this is very natural but that's what makes sports so exciting it's unpredictability you never know what's going to happen you can plan all you want but things can change Which yes is exactly. exactly what what is making it so exciting but you said that you know you wanted people to talk about the team you've told your team don't talk about yourself what was the criteria this time then in selecting these personnel not just the players even the coaching staff the tactical analyst a fitness coach you've brought in someone for mental conditioning to build that what what went what was the thought process behind bringing those people what so, was the criteria actually actually yeah first criteria is professionalism we need professionals uh we need ambitious people and i i think we managed to find them and actually actually the staff 
Kibu bring his coaches, his assistants from from yeah, previous yeah. club, and only only David from Spain join us, and and he he is also able able to help about about mental things. So also I'm very happy. I'm very happy about goalkeeper coach Yusuf. He's he's from India, mm. and and these Indian people, so people also assistant coaches for uh, Rafik from academy and and massive job did this uh, our analytic Indian analytic Aravind I mean yeah. he helps so much and, and this is it's it's also professional level I mean it, it's he, yeah. he's he's his his job professional so really yeah. happy to be to be surrounded up with such a persons and now now we need with patience do our job day by day don't don't speak loudly but but work hard and and see what happen you know it's it's positive way we will see how it's go yeah let your work do the talking is what you're saying we don't have to be loud let the game be loud for us that's true important isn't it everybody especially now sorry, I, I times are so different sorry i lose you i didn't hear last question I'm saying you were just saying that the team behind the team is also very important this time. The staff that's working behind the team, but circumstances are very different this year, and there are a lot of challenges. And I have to address the biggest one, according to me, as a presenter, as an anchor. Every time I have come to Kochi, I have been blown away by that crowd. This the crowd, bunch of people that you're talking to right now. Incredible. Yes. When I am with the mic. I can't hear myself talking. They are that loud, and that is yes. the one thing we are going to miss the most this season. Yes. So, from your analysis, how much of a difference is this going to make, especially to Kerala Blasters? I know that everybody telling the same that fans are very important and yeah. so on, but so. but i i don't know how to how to tell that it's 100% true that this is really like like additional push emotions and emotions are are serious gun in sport you know yeah. because you have yeah. short period to to prove who is better and you have 90 minutes and even emotionally you can you can do some things better than you can even yeah. so 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 it's really very important i just don't want to repeat same same after same but but i mean if if fans are stop stop hearing this they all the time still must must know that that it that it's huge i mean i mean this is i i very not not happy that we will not have supporters but i know it's situation all around the world it's impossible now but mm. i can tell that this season we 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 must play 11 against 11 not 12 against 11 so oh. let's <laughs> we don't have this advantage but you knew about manya bada and you knew about kerala blasters fan following even before you arrived over here you had heard about them they're pretty famous yeah, of, course. of course of course of course yeah and yeah we will we will miss them but i promise you this they're one of the most loyal fans in the country and they've supported the team through thick and thin and this season they're going to be doing the exact same they may not be physically present but they're always going to support their team so we were talking yeah. about some of the changes because of you know the pandemic and because of the situation and apart from fans not being there even your pre-season has been affected hasn't it so what is different this time around how have you all planned around the pre-season so pre-season i mean it's not ideal for sure but we trying to make it as good as possible uh our indian players are working some time already in the trainings on the pitch uh some foreigners all foreigners still in quarantine uh three of them still traveling to india so i mean it's far away from from good conditions i mean good con i am not blaming nothing nobody <laughs> but no but just but just just circumstances just situation all yeah. around the world yeah so it's not not ideal but in current circumstances i think we we doing all all management all all club people doing maximum effort and maximum possible job to make it yeah. as good as possible so but of course there are there are some risks about this you know injuries risk 
it it can i mean it's not normal to to train on or only three weeks or something like that yes. normally yes. minimum six weeks preparation so Absolutely. there are some risks about about this and but you know our situation is same like other clubs so so we need to deal with that and 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 move on so no no time to no time to to discuss this Absolutely, I understand, Carlos. Since you brought this up on, you just brought up this topic right now about injuries and preseason being very short. I have a ton of questions. I've literally I've written them all down with the names of the fans. So I'm going to be throwing these questions at you. But at any point, if you choose not to answer any of the questions, that's completely your prerogative. I give you that full freedom. But I'm only a messenger between the fans and you, so I'm going to be asking you those questions. And one of the questions that came up so often on my Instagram account, on my Twitter, everybody was just messaging me with the same thing: that every season we have said that we have injury and fitness issues because of our pre-season. But this year, yes. that is going to be even worse. We barely have two weeks of pre-season as an entire team, which is the Indians and the foreigners together. Yes. Like you said, that's a challenge not only for Kerala but for every club. Yes. So, how have you and Kibu and your entire coaching staff and everyone planned on what? How are you all planning on doing that? Because the first few matches are going to be extremely difficult. Then. Yes. Uh, you know, I think coaches not getting this knowledge when they working to get. pro license you know how to prepare team in two weeks because normally you preparing team six or eight weeks so it's yeah. clearly not not standard situation yeah. and and i mean it's difficult situation and you 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 need you need measure the loads how how much you can give for the players uh, how much you cannot how, how much is too much i mean it's it's difficult job and big big challenge for coach for coaching staff in this case Yeah. and and even for players to be to be smart to to communicate clearly what they feel and how they feel and you know so we need very good communication listen each other and just understand that this is not typical situation and we need mm. to deal with this so and we don't know how 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 it will go nobody knows yeah and and yeah. other other very bad thing you know you know you can have short preparation but but you cannot have pause without football seven months like for example our indian players here they they play last march in in february or march and now yeah. it's we have a football. so i mean this is not not life of professional football player and so so this is also rising the 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 risk of the injuries Absolutely. not only preparation Yeah, so we need to understand this and deal with that as well. So, so I mean, I really hope next season we can we can do to to give as much as possible football throughout the year for 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 Indian players especially, because yes. also you know they they getting pra- practice, they getting improvement, they they getting experience. This is very important and getting fitness, consistent fitness. So it's not the same if you stay in the room and and do some exercises. So. Mm. True. So true. That's the situation. I mean, it's, it's, difficult right. to it's a difficult situation to handle, but we try as as good as possible. You're absolutely right. It's not just that they went seven months without playing a single competitive game of football. I'm in close contact with professional footballers, as of course everybody knows. And one of the biggest challenges was fitness because no gyms were open. you weren't able to use a ground or you know a public park or anything so they couldn't get outside to even run so you said yes. carlos earlier that today out of it out you saw the whole indian crop that you have you saw them in action today what did you make of them so far there's still a long time there's still one month but what did you make of them when you saw them today what did you think what do you mean Were you impressed with the kind of hard work they put in? Did they look fit? Did they look competition ready? Uh, yes. I mean, it's very positive impression about hard working. First of all, hmm. uh, it's this passion. You can feel it, and and boys, all from first to 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 to, to last one, everybody has this, and they want yeah. want to play, want yeah. to improve, and that's that's very good. And this is make. job of coaches 
much easier to do, you know, because players are motivated. In professional football, trust me, there are many different environments and sometimes there are so difficult people and players, you know. So so in this case, it's it's fantastic. Uh, fitness situation, I think it's as good as, as could be. Mm-hmm. Uh, we still have time. We still we still will play three more friendly games. So so we will build this as as much as possible, and and we need work, honest work. So so that's as simple as that. Sure. Okay, I'm going to take a break from this serious conversation right now because there are thousands and thousands of fans watching us live right now, and they've just been sending you these yellow hearts and they've been saying "Karelis," and they don't want you to speak in Malayalam, which of course I I only know how to say "Namaskaram," which is "Hello." So can you please say yes. a big "Hello" to all the fans right now? <laughs> Namaskaram. I say well. <laughs> you just said. Namaskaram Kerala. Namaskaram Kerala. Well done. Okay, so we're going to get to uh, more of the more of the questions that have come in from the fans. Um how excited are you about the new crop of youngsters that you've brought in starting with there's Gave Sin uh Putia what do you make of the new crop of youngsters? Um you know i will be excited when when we we reach some results and and now 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 they are talented boys and and but many many much of job are are in front so so i i will i told this for for most of them and i i will keep telling this that it's it's not the time now to celebrate that they sign contract it's it's celebrate you can only only when you win something and and now 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 we have opportunity to develop them and make champions and they have opportunity to grow with club and and do do something special you know so i think this is a positive situation for both sides and we need continue to work absolutely um carlos i'm going to be mentioning some of these players now and you know your thoughts on them because you you obviously done your research on them you watch them play so first yes. i have to start with the fan favorite the absolute golden boy of kerala sahal abdul samad what do you make of him extended his contract has signed his future yes. to kerala blasters what do you make of that boy talk about sahal i think that it was important for him and for club to to know the future i mean that he is clearly can develop and and play in this team and 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 try to reach the targets so i think it's important for him and for us to know that he's with us it's clear and and to concentrate most only at football you know that's very big point he he need to concentrate only about football and about improvement because he still has room to improve so right. so that's that's the point even now he's national team player he's one of the one of the best best indian players in isl you know but he still have ro- room to improve so so i think we need we need push for that and and try to get best result but but i am very very happy that we reached this agreement because it's it's important it's important to have carol a local local boy who who can play in in good level sure another uh, national team player who has tasted success in indian football of course is none other than nishu kumar and you brought in nishu on a very long term deal as well so the thoughts yeah. behind wanting someone like nishu in your team so it's 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 quality player you know it's quality player and of course it's advantage to have it's national team level player and true best best age we can we 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 agreed on 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 best best his age so so really I mean, big, big demands and big re- requirements for for Nishu this season. This and every season. So I mean, this is true true pressure on his on his shoulders. You know, he he need perform. True. You know, I talked to Nishu on one of these uh, off the pitch interviews that I did, and I know that there were so many clubs who wanted Nishu's signature on that contract, and Nishu went to Kerala, and I asked him. obviously what are the reasons and he said one it's the fans because of the craziest fans and two he said he liked 
the long term philosophy of the club the plan that the, the five year plan of the club or the four year future plan so what is from your perspective what is that long term philosophy that he was talking about so he probably keep keep in mind you know that that we we trying to make the 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 main main group of the players for long term you know so and it's easier all the time easier when you have same players season after the season of course not too long sometimes it happens that too long you have same players but but i'm pretty sure the positiveness and hard work hard working of these boys it's it's not 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 a problem it's only advantage so mm-hmm. i'm happy that, that to thinking like this you know it's it's important and you know what what is mean when player coming for long term uh mm-hmm. he cares more maybe about the club generally uh because because he know that he will not run away in nowhere next next off season he he will live with that what what we are achieve, achieving so it's maybe more responsibility and and when when players are is going to end their contract after the season it's more, more maybe selfish behavior you you can see you know and long term long term term contract uh uh help to avoid this so so I'm happy that that no sure i mean he's he's smart guy he's professional so so really happy to have him see to extend with a successful club and a club who's winning trophies but to sign with a club and then wait and see where that future goes that is loyalty that's what you're trying to say got it carlos there are a lot of fans right now if you're reading the comments everyone's writing rahul ap and then sending heart especially today any particular reason <laughs> probably a couple of goals today <laughs> 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 Tell us about that. This was your first pre-season friendly. We didn't get to watch it, but the fans are dying to know what happened in that match. Why is Rahul KP so important today? So you know, he's also he's also a local boy. He's mm-hmm. very talented player. He he is fast. He's he has quality. So and today he scored two goals. I'm very happy for this. You know, and he helped team to win the match so it's i mean great great performance but but again it's it's first friendly game it's fantastic that we won it but i mean it's 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 nothing so far we need continue sure and this was all indians only because you said the foreign players aren't even out of quarantine they're not yeah. match yes. fit yet yes so yes. all indian players so this is promising already just your indian crop has shown so much promise Carlos I'm going to come back to one of the fan questions here and they said um Kerala Blasters saw one of their main stays of defense leaving this season how difficult has it been for you and the management to fill these shoes uh to fill shoes of 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 who the main stay in defense a player who was synonymous with Kerala Blasters for the last 6 years I'm so guessing it's an Sunday yeah, yeah. and they haven't given me the name it's just written main stay of defense so i'm guessing it's <laughs> sandesh of course but it's it's yeah. up to you if you want to talk about it because obviously as a sporting director this is one of the first questions the fans would want to ask you yes yes no it's i mean it's it's no 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 big secrets not to talk about this uh just as i thought in the beginning circumstances uh it wasn't i mean every club in isl probably would like to have him uh but but circumstances was like this that that we cannot so 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 we 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 need i think in positive a nice way we 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 divorce so 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 happen what happen you know now now also to fill to fill shoes you know it's biggest advantage you know he's indian player central defender not 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 much this position players True. in in india so so i mean it's it's not easy but but same time you know we we probably use more foreigners in these positions but it's it's coach coach decisions about that you know and 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 we will see how time will show you know what 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 will be sure i'm i'm absolutely sure it wasn't an easy decision to make you all must have thought so much about just you know in terms of the team and the fans of sco and since we're on that topic can you also mention another player i mean Bartholomew Ogbeche 
a phenomenal player not just on the pitch but even off the pitch his influence even in the locker room or even in trainings was massive it must have been very difficult to let bart also go yes you know he's he's big professional he did good job in kerala people love him uh yeah. so so it was obviously i mean tough tough to, to do this but but situation goes goes in this way and and, and i mean we cannot force to to change the situation so no and, understand and, I, mean, i mean just this just happening in football and in sport you know these changes happen and and also fans fans love the people of the club but also don't need don't need to forget that first and most important thing is the club and no, nobody is bigger than the club so this is also everybody telling this but but it's it's true i mean it's true so so <laughs> we we moving on anyway we moving on the first course, and the most important team thing is the club and no one is bigger than the club excellent. yes exactly exactly excellent so we you know we've touched upon some of the big name players who've left we've talked about the indian boys if like you brought in nishu and there's rohit kumar who's coming let's talk about the foreign signings how big a role according to you do the foreigners play in a team very big i mean same same big like like indians it's because on the pitch normally you have five foreigners six indians so so it's like like challenging you challenging against your opponent which which your side is better if if you ha- have both your sides are better you know you, you you probably are better team so it's 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 very important it's very important absolutely a lot of fans have been sending in their comments uh, Elwin Pierre has said changes for the betterment of the club nothing is bigger than the club we trust in Carolus Kinkis and everyone's been sending you a lot of love and they're saying you haven't spoken one wrong word yet and they're very impressed with you so tell us about so i was asking you how important the foreign signings are because every time i interview the indian players they say it's not just on the pitch that we learn from the foreigners it's even off the pitch we look at their fitness we look at their training we look at their discipline you know players who played at a high level so tell me about some of the foreign signings you brought in especially high profile names like yari hooper so i mean all of these all of these players we trust all of these are important and we 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 as a team much depend on on their performance so it's also pressure and responsibility on their shoulders so i mean now now it's time now it's time to show how how big profiles and how big players they are you know now 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 not only profile is important now performance is important so so i we really expect and believe that they can do good job and and try to try to find a way how how they can explode in in in, in best in best colors so right i mean i i don't think so we need to talk personally about each other because it's uh, demands for them are same you know they 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 should make the difference and and perform and, and collect the wins so so True. it's also True. big responsibility for them so it's clear to um hi sharath hi raftar hi mr spencer rohit chiran is asking what is the vision of kbf kbfc and its potential we've already touched upon that so we i think i've already covered that question a lot of people are just saying major power to you mohammad fahad is sending you a lot of power but uh, another one of the questions that was sent earlier is what do you look at as the most which one do you look at as the most promising signing of the season indian or foreigner which one is the most promising according to you i don't want to say names you know <laughs> again 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 it's it's like like just a- empty words so far yeah all, yeah all all we will see on the pitch on training pitch first of all on friendly matches first of all and then on yeah. official match so whatever i say now anyway all together we will watch on the season throughout the season and and yeah. at the at the end of the season we can talk and decide who was best <laughs> okay then i'll turn it around because one of the other question is compared to the other teams foreign signings do you think kerala blasters has done the best recruitment 
Whew, it's maybe not so <laughs> ethical to say, to to talk about Compare. other things. I mean, we did yeah. we did as good as we can according True. to budget, according to market. So I think from our situation, we we push we push a lot. I'm not telling that maximum, but but we push much. So so <laughs> hopefully okay. all will be. Okay. Uh, another one of the questions has come in is, according to you, what was the criteria in selection of an Asian player? Uh, you know, actually, this rule are strange to me that mm. that clubs must to have one Asian Asian player, yeah, because this this make market not not natural, and and many many are many Asian players are are working. Working on that, they they just want to earn some money, you know, to to get overpaid. That's the point. So and and I am very happy that we finally have agreement with Jordan, and he's he's guy who who will bring energy, who will bring honest wish to perform, and it's it's important important from foreigner side very much as well. So True. so. It was our last signing, and and I, I I hope it's it's not 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 I mean not not worst for sure. He he no, need I'm to sure perform. With that team. I think the mentality is more about you're looking at the AFC also has that rule where you have to play three plus one, one being the Asian player in your team. I think they're preparing for yeah. that, and also because eventually going forward the league might also implement that rule. So it's nice to already have that. Asian means stay in your team beforehand. Maybe that's the philosophy. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it, it makes sense to to, to get prepared mm -hmm. because if you play Champions League, Asian Champions League. You you need this to have Asian players. So so I mean, it makes mm -hmm. sense from that side. But I am a little bit not. It's not my favorite rule overall. It's, even yeah, in, in you're not convinced. Of, because it's it make market strange and would be interesting for me to discuss with some people. Who who make this rule and and why it was done? Maybe I don't just don't don't think about some reasons which which is obvious. But from my perspective at the moment, it look it looks it looks strange. Yeah, I appreciate that honesty, and we'll try and set up an interview between you and the people who sat behind the desk and came up with the rule in the first place. And so maybe there will be a clarity on that. Ashik Lekho, yeah, is asking which is more important to you. age as a young player or experienced player quality is important not age not experience quality is important mm -hmm. and and when you manage to find quality then much depends on the market because normally young young quality costs very much i mean millions in in, in context of 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 good quality players Yes, and if yes. if you manage to find young quality you know it's it's fantastic but yes. but not my my opinion nothing can be over over quality this even i mean we cannot ignore older players or new young players or or whatever but but if we follow rule of the quality we we will we will perform Absolutely, no. You're absolutely correct because there has to be a balance of both in the team as well, youth as well as experience. Like I was talking to Thibu, and one of the points we brought up in the you hadn't made all your signings yet, but at that time in the interview, I asked him, would you be focusing more on your defense because they've been leaking in a lot of goals and they conceded a lot of goals and stuff? And he said, we can, you know, we can either. Focus on defense or attack, but there has to be a balance between the two. So, is that one of the other things that also came up in conversation when you all were planning for this season? Yes, yes. I mean, to to make to make defense stronger. I mean, I, I think everybody who follow the club, they 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 saw that it's it's one of the jobs to do. So True. so clearly, this was the 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 thing to do. Absolutely. Okay. Uh, one of the fans' question is. Uh, Is there any long-term initiative to have our own stadium someday? So it's maybe question not not for me and not not in the right circumstances because now yeah. now you know now we thinking. <laughs> I mean, where, where to wear wear the mask? Where where not? You know, I mean, 
more, more simple oh. questions at the moment we we we, we take <laughs> <laughs> because really really honestly i believe that these restrictions and protocols what we need to follow it's as much as as much important as football because my opinion best best organized team overall best organized team uh, will have advantage because imagine if if somebody get covid and and i mean you can you can lose half of your team and and nobody will care after so so oh. this is extremely important for us now to to make sure and our our medical medical team doing great job you know about that to 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 make sure that that we follow all protocols and and we are safe so Absolutely. that's very important Absolutely, I completely agree with you. Um, you're asking for easy questions. You know how many questions I'm not asking. There's someone's asking who's going to be the captain this season. Someone's asking who's your favorite player in Kerala Blasters. I'm not asking any of those questions. I'm making it as easy for you as possible. I will ask you that when yeah. the season starts in the first two three months of the season. Then I'll ask you these questions. <laughs> Yeah. not right now and also because i understand that that's a decision that mostly the head coach will be taking right about captainship and everything yes and first of all we need to you know bring all players in in, in the place and, and i mean right true <laughs> it's also a little later issue true you were saying that uh, you know whichever team maintains their fitness and whichever team stays healthy and they will have an advantage this season especially because of this covid situation but also don't you think i've been talking to players and a lot of times i've heard players say yes yes we're ready for this season but a lot of coaches and management have said mental conditioning is going to be very very important six months you are staying in a bubble not traveling not moving out no fans no family how are you all handling that mental conditioning of the players do you have have you brought in someone specially like a mental conditioning coach or something uh our one of the assistants the vet have some experience about this uh but you know mental conditioning normally it starts from from good good overall good well organized overall procedures when everything going well people don't have reasons to be angry to be to 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 be desperate or so on so this mm. is first point but another point which which you which you correctly told that uh where six months there in hotel uh without families locked so so this is again challenge for coaching staff uh to how how to make some days more interesting you know what what new activities to do you know and and we already discussed this this thing with kibu right. that that maybe we can find some make some days different you know than 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 every day so so it's also not not regular situation but i'm i'm pretty sure we will handle this this well yeah i know what you mean like during the season normally you plan an outing or a dinner or you take the whole team out you know just to unwind forget about football for one day but that is not yeah. possible this season this season whatever you have to do you have to do it within the hotel itself uh, yes and you know a lot of go on this fear it's yeah. i mean sometimes after two weeks training camp you 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 don't see you don't want to see these people couple of days you know <laughs> but but in this in this case in this case it's more difficult but same time we are you know it's it's senior team it's adult people are here you know we understand all understand the situation so yeah so we'll try to handle this in, in best way absolutely i mean we're all wishing you all the best the fans will play a very big role as much as possible they will keep sending in their messages and i'm sure even remotely even being away from the players they will still end up doing something or the other because this is manya pada they have been there regardless of where you play they travel everywhere even for the national team they have yes. ended up in other countries for the national team like that is how famous manya pada are tell us a lot of fans so you're sure about the fans involvement this season even though they won't be there yeah bakari kona was very very surprised what 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 level of support he is getting you know from from first <laughs> days when, when rumors go out you know yeah so he was 
he told that's that's amazing you know so much people supporting me so so <laughs> he really liked imagine if akri kone had to be in the stadium what would he have yeah. thought that that yellow sea some 50000 yellow fans screaming for him he's surprised i really hope i really hope when when we have possibility to allow fans in the stadiums i really hope don't see don't see empty seats in the stadiums that we we are all always full at home as you know it's also up up to the team and it's a responsibility to the team uh, to 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 show some results but also we we will expect this just just <laughs> just the seconds i can tell i assure you all these six seasons it's the earliest i get to the stadium 2 or 3 hours before kick off because i have to prepare for the show thousands of fans on the street on the road they're getting kerala blaster tattoos and they're getting the logo tattoos thousands of them 2 or 3 hours before kick off so i guarantee you and you can convey this message to bakri kone as well he will not be disappointed and since we're yeah. talking about the foreign signing a lot of fans are asking about pakundo yes um on any uh, updates on his arrival pakundo will arrive uh this week this week okay and then he will go through the quarantine yes uh so it will be he will be joining the team okay there you go fans everybody who's been asking says the nishu kumar fan club has been sending you a lot of hearts and all of them okay so i'm i know you have to go and it's dinner time and you want to be with the rest of the team since now you're out of quarantine i'll let you go in another 2 minutes i promise you that just overall uh just in a short nutshell can you tell us what can manya pada look forward to this season you know we all together we need step by step grow and move forward so i expect this season to to make some steps forward so okay i i am not yep. the man who will give big promises and 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 tell something something amazing but let's be simple people first of all and and make some steps forward and i am sure you that everybody in this organization will try to to make as much as possible these these steps forward so let's start from this and then then we can see how how it's going okay so fine if you side step that can you tell us what is your message as the first sporting director of kerala blasters football club what is your message to the thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of fans my message that i never imagine that it could be supporting supporters could be so positive because this is amazing this positiveness is so amazing i mean normally normally it's some some more critics some more more complaints but this i can i can call this like it's 100% support you know it's it's no no doubts about that so so i would like to thank you very much for this for that because it it matters i mean it matters for players it matters for coaches it matters for everybody in the organization so so this positive attention really helping to 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 convince some players to come maybe who who are doubting you know come or not you know it can help so okay. so just keep keep your way and that's huge for for all people who works and and trying to 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 make to to bring results so so thank you so much and and <laughs> that is such a positive same, message same. yeah <laughs> that is so good like everybody there you go again you see the screen just see the number of yellow hearts everyone just the moto explorer guna <laughs> ve look at that just, 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 just. everybody's just sending you a lot of hearts because you've brought in so much positivity and the fans really really need to look forward to this season because if there's one club that deserves success it's kerala blasters just because of the love and the loyalty that the fans have shown for 6 years so thank you so much for talking to us kerala on behalf of manya pada on behalf of all the thousands of fans of kerala blasters i'd like to wish you all the best and i hope you come back very soon on another episode of off the pitch with kuri and we have a lot of positives to talk about not just one thing today 
Kim, just feel free to talk, to call me and I, I'm ready. So no problem. <laughs> Lovely. Thank you so much on behalf of all the fans. Also, thank you so much. And hopefully, we'll be talking again when there are a lot more wins under your belt very very soon. Wish you all the best. Okay. Ah, uh, just just send out a lot of love to Kerala Blasters. They are all sending you yellow hearts. So just send out love to the fans. Then we'll let you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank, thank you. you thank you so much for the session Karis. and thank you to everybody who watched thank you wish you all the best for the pre season to the entire team on behalf of all the fans and all the best for the upcoming season of the hero indian super league good luck thank you okay thank you so much have a bye nice bye. evening thank you bye bye, bye. Right, guys. That was the sting director of Kerala Blasters, Carlos Kinkes. I had to let him go because, like I told you, they had a pre-season friendly today, and he was out for the game. And they all have to get to dinner, and they have a very strict discipline that they have to follow. So I promised him I would let him go very soon, and I have. Thank you so much. So many thousands of you loyally stayed on to watch this interview. Thank you so much. Thanks to all of you who sent in your comments, who sent in. so many look at this i have literally i have pages and pages of questions that i've written down because over the last few days you've just been messaging me please continue to do that let us know who you want on the next episode of off the pitch with kuri until then wish you all the best to every single fan out there of kerala blasters every single member of manya pada and every single fan of indian football all the best let's have a cracker of a season this is kuri rani signing out i'll see you guys very soon bye